Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So, can you see my desk right now? It's a hot mess. Today's project is definitely going to be a wild, crazy ride because it's so many pieces. Um, what I'm doing is I, you know, I'm on the design team for Barely Art Glue and I want to do one of their SVG files of their bear logo and um, they, you know, they've been, we've been talking about it, you know, they always joke that I'm their, you know, the, the big character person on the design team. And so I've been wanting to make a big off the mat, but you know, I'm so particular about which files I want to use. I turn down orders when it's things that I don't think is going to look good. Um, but the bear, the bear is so hard because if you think about their bear compared to usually the, the princesses that I do, um, you know, when you do something 30 inches, but it's, it's slender like a princess or, um, trying to think what else I've done, uh, the Grinch, um, the skeleton guy, uh, Jack Skellington or something like that. Or, anyway, um, they're all kind of narrow. So when I do something 30 inches, I'm not dealing with like 30 inches wide as well, right? I'm dealing with something that's narrow, easier to do. Well, the bear is big. So 30 inches, he's like a big square. So this is in a lot of pieces, if you can see. At first I was like, well, you know, I kind of wanted a challenge and it reminded, uh, uh, rem reminded me a lot of the sugar skull that I did. But here's the other thing with the bear. There is big empty spaces of white. So on this one, what I want to do is I kind of want to talk my way through some of the items because this is going to take me like a good two hours to put together. And I don't think you're going to stay along for that two hour ride. But um, so I kind of want to talk through, like give you an overview. So like the first 10, 20 minutes, talk about what I want to do, how I'm going to solve it. And then if you stay with me, I don't even know if I'm going to record myself because sometimes when I'm recording myself, I feel like it takes me longer because I'm trying to, you know, fill up the time and talk to you and give you good tips while you're watching. And I don't know, it might take me three hours to put together and I have to pick up my daughter. So that's a hard stop. <laughs> so, all right, let me show you what it looks like. So you can see here. So what I did is if you've seen this, I've put the design space tutorial out there and we're going to be posting this with still enough time for you to enter our contest. So the contest is do something that whatever you think of it when you hear the glitter bears. Sorry, I'm like losing my head. So whatever uh, comes to mind when you hear the glitter bears, then you make it use that hashtag on Instagram and you're entered in our contest. We have five winners. So mine is going to be a literal glitter bear. Um, but you can see the pieces that I've used. They have like, it's a really pretty delicate, um, almost like a stencil feel on top of the bear. So what I did is I took the design and I made my made my own like little flowers to kind of like add and a few of the hearts. So I'm going to show you that here. So this heart is not part of the design, but it has the same look and feel. So I'm going to be sticking these on top, kind of like covering the seams where I couldn't do anything about it. So we have a couple hearts and we have a flower that is, um, I sliced and welded and did a bunch of things to get the same flower, just in a different size um, from the overall design so that it has the same look and feel to help me kind of cover up the seams. So we're like employing a lot of tricks today and I'm gonna show you right now what I'm talking about as well as I'm adding a shaker to it. I know we're going all out. So let me show you what this looks like. This is the bear. So you can kind of see the bear. I'm gonna remove this piece really quickly and this one these are the three main pieces so that you can kind of see so here's the bear you can see the bear is in he does not look like what I normally would do with an off the mat because look at how thin this paintbrush is but I sliced it in half and it goes over here I sliced this really thin these slices are very deliberate the paintbrush is going to go over and hide 90% of this seam. 
The seams on the side will also be covered because I'm going to show you how I did that where if it's going through like a little star, we cut out a piece of the star to put over there to cover the seams. So we, I mean, we're doing everything on this thing. So you can kind of see there are a lot of seams, a lot of smaller pieces that you're not used to seeing because also the bear is so wide. He's tall and wide. Normally it would be slender, right? I wouldn't have like multiple seams right here, right? So this is the the rest of the paw, so I mean, look at that. That's a seam down here, a seam here. There is, a, there should be another piece somewhere over here. Did I lose it? Um, shoot. Okay. I, oh, it's on the floor. That's how big it is. Like, where did that piece go? I mean, so look at this guy. This guy is this and this little piece right here. I normally would never do that, right? I don't like having to, you know, take this piece with me. But, so I'm gonna show you this. So, like I said, I these are deliberate seams like where I put this because right here, try to, I don't know, I, it's so hard to see right here. Okay, so this is the paintbrush, right? And I don't wanna lose this because we're gonna be putting this together, but I just wanna show you really quickly what that would look like for those not staying on the whole time because I totally get it. So this is the paintbrush. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the paintbrush. This is the bear's nose and eyes and the paintbrush is in the mouth, okay? So it's going like this and it's covering that seam right here. I know, I'm sorry, it's a little bit hard to see. This seam right here is the actual paintbrush. So that's gonna be covered, right? This right here, shoot, what is this? Oh, this should have been a little yellow. Oh, I think I do have that little yellow piece, do I? Somewhere, okay. But that's gonna be covered, right? Um, let me show you what the paw print looks like. So let me move this up a little bit. Did I already, oh no. See, you can see this is this is like a really big project. Okay, this is the foot. Okay, so let me sh let me piece this together so you can kind of see. Look at all the seams, right? We've got a big seam right here. Got seams all four right here. Okay, now this foot shoot is somewhere under here. I think this is the foot. Okay, so this is part of the foot. So you see the seam right here. It's going to be completely covered by this, right? So that four uh, corner seam is going to be gone, right? But there's still one piece right here. But this is what we're going to do. So this white piece is now going to be covered because I recut this one, which is totally on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? it's going to cover that seam right there. This is going to be another black piece, which I can't find right now. But you kind of see what I mean. Anywhere where there's like a little spot like this, I have a, a white piece right here to be a petal and to go over it. So it's covering, I mean, we covered 90% of the seams. What was left is what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you, ah, my pieces are falling apart. So you can kind of get a feel for like that stencil look, right? So it's sort of like this heart. So just imagine the heart is not going here, but you know, adding a heart right here, it totally looks like it's part of the design. And so that's how we're gonna cover up these little seams. I mean, in my head and so far what we've cut out, this bear is gonna look amazing at 30 inches. And then um, I you know, purposely kept it black. I mean, we could have done any color on top of the bear, right? Um, but I knew the black glitter cardstock from Ground Up Creations was gonna hide the seams really, really well. Let me see if I can find a piece that would work so that you could see what I'm talking about. Okay, let me move this down a little bit. So you see there is the face, right? So here is his face. It's gonna be covering up this whole seam right here, okay? And then here's the rest of his face. 
but you see like we're not gonna see this seam right here because when I tape this up it's gonna look perfect and you see how the star is there and then so you can just imagine that this little heart right here that I'm gonna place probably right here it just looks like it's part of the design right like that stencil look so we're he's gonna look seamless all right so this is, I have to take him apart. We're gonna put together the white piece first, okay? So that's how we're covering up the seams. Let me see if I have another example to show you really quickly. And hopefully, let me balance it so it's not gonna fall apart on me. Okay, so remember how I was telling you, oops, here is another flower. So if there was a seam running through the white, there won't be any more because this is, there's gonna be a new white. Let's see what is going on with this piece. So if there was a seam running through before, I'm placing this white on top like that, right? So this is not, a, this one's not exactly it, but Oh, here. So for instance, here's a piece of the stencil, right? And you see how this is still stuck? My blade is at its at its end. See how it like didn't cut completely well? So after this project, I'm gonna put in a new blade. I do love my Amazon knockoff blades <laughs> um, because it's so cheap that to me, it's worth, you know, switching out every time it stops cutting well. Okay, so let me show you. So let's pretend that there's a seam running through there. This white piece will sit on top and it will cover the seam. So that's kind of like we're employing all the tricks that I know of. All right, so let's put together this white piece. This is the big background the white okay i'm gonna put my thing on top of this because there's so much going on right here um give me just one second to bring back that board but i hope this kind of helps you understand like you know it's basically one big puzzle that we sliced up so that we can get it to all fit right um so i'm gonna be flipping this over and taping it little by little and shoot, hold on. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Um, I know I've been <laughs> a little bit of a hot mess with everything. So I'm gonna use regular tape, scotch tape. And on these pieces, I like to tape them two pieces at a time and I just flip it over. So for instance, I'm gonna do this foot right now. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna tape from behind because you don't wanna tape from the top because the black's gonna sit on top and you're gonna be able to see the tape. So we tape the background from behind. You wanna lift up, you wanna push it against this piece so that it is going to be as seamless as possible. And we're gonna tape it down. Okay, I also, I at the edges, I really like to take another piece of tape and tape it right as close to the edge as possible so that there's no movement. When you see a seam or when your eye gets drawn to it, it's because light hits it and it's not completely flush. So if it's bent, if it's slightly bent, the sun's gonna catch it or the light's gonna catch it and you're gonna see that seam. But if you tape it all the way to the edge, it's unlikely that it will move and so your eyes won't be drawn to it. So that's kind of, so here is the foot, right? So you kind of see like when it's bent, you can see it, right? But when it's straight like this, it's hard to see it, right? Like right now, if the light's not on it and it's completely flat, it's really hard to see this seam. So, but you're not gonna see it anyway because we're gonna have the black on top of it and the seam that goes through it. I have a piece for the foot, if you remember. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this piece. It's gonna be like this. I'm gonna flip it over. Okay. 
And I'm going to tape these two pieces together. And these two pieces together. So, um, you know, I didn't really know anything about the design teams when I was, you know, when I first started crafting. I just saw, like, their announcements, right, that, oh, you know, these are all the people that made the design team. And I'm like, oh, how does that work? So here's a couple things that I know about design teams. Um, I am currently on Barely Art, um, so this project, right? And I'm also with 12 by 12 cardstock. And for both of these teams, I would say that you don't have to have a big account. And I recently got added on to Paper House Productions too. And they're more of like a planner, card making kind of shop. And they, you know, they uh, let me be on the team, which I do party decor. I'm not really sure. It's going to be a challenging, um, a challenging time for me for sure, because I am going to be uncomfortable as I figure my way out. But, you know, I feel like in this whole um creative career that we are challenged all the time right we're challenged to come up with new things uh things feel uncomfortable because we're constantly like trying to create and put our spin on it and so i kind of feel the same way with the design team but i would say with like paper house for sure like i was looking at the other um account, you know the other people that were chosen and there were people with 300 followers and then there are people like me with uh, 28,000 followers. So I, my thing is go for it. Um, you never know like what they're looking for. And um, you also just really wanna do it because, you know, like I said, it really challenges me to come up with a new design, to come up with something fun. Um, you know, and just meeting the people and it's, it's been, the, the experience has been a lot of fun for me. It's time consuming for me because, um, you know, I'm also doing tutorials and doing this and that. So I'm going to have to pause this for a minute because I have to take this call. Hello? Okay. Bye-bye. Sorry, <laughs> elderly uncle, and I'm the only one home, and so uh, okay. Anyway, um, you know it's 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 a lot of fun, and it's challenging, and you get to meet fun people. So I highly recommend doing it. I, um, you know, I applied again with Barely Art, so I'm hoping to have made their team this third quarter. I'm not sure yet. I haven't heard. Um, but I will be with Paper House. I will be with 12 by 12 cardstock. I think, you know, I've been like a guest with Artist Spree, so I'm not really sure what my relationship is with them, but I love their products. And so I might be doing that. I have one more that I'm doing this, this quarter um, with Buttons uh, Galore. So I'm excited about that because, you know, what the heck am I going to do with buttons and stuff? <laughs> but um, I, you know, you don't get paid. So um, it's more, I mean, you get materials, right? Um, so you get to try new things. Um, and so that's, that's me. So you're going to be seeing a lot of my stuff this quarter, um, the next few months where I'm just kind of like, challenging myself to to create with things I'm not used to um, because I could do this stuff off the mat and party decor for the rest of my life and be comfortable and know what I'm doing right but I'm gonna do it um, so and it's a lot of fun and you get to work with you know different people different accounts um, I work with card makers that I don't I don't make cards but I've learned quite a bit from them um, so yeah, all right, so I'm gonna flip this over so you can kind of see what we've been doing, right? So now we've pieced this back together. So off the mat is 
basically you take something super super big and you slice it up into pieces that you can cut that you have materials for and then you put it back together so you see this bear is starting to come to life um and i have just a few more pieces so let's put that together we've got these two pieces together and then we'll start putting the black on um and i'm going live tonight which i don't think this is going to be up on my youtube in time for you guys to catch me live from this announcement but i'm doing my first instagram live all by myself i've only been i've only done lives on other people's channels um so this will be my first time hosting it myself all right so we've got that piece down i'm gonna put these two together and then we're gonna put the paintbrush together so you can kind of see like this is getting really big where it's, we're constantly moving up and down to get this in, right? So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to line this up. And you see, normally I wouldn't even do this. I don't like cutting it where it's not, it's uneven because I feel like when it's uneven, it's harder to push the pieces together to make them flush. But... I was doing it because I want to make this as seamless as possible. So I was, I was doing it all small pieces, big pieces, just all over the place on this one. Okay. And we're getting to the part of the paintbrush. All right. So here we go. I mean, look at how Thin that is kind of like my nightmare <laughs> okay so this piece goes here this is the bottom of the brush this is the top of the brush so you can kind of see like it's just not even even but I'm gonna push these two together and get these two at a time now on this one I'm not too worried about the tip because if you remember the black's gonna sit on top of it as well as the yellow piece even, the yellow paintbrush. So, all right, I've got these two down. I'm gonna put these two and then tape that together. And then we have our white totally put together. So that is down, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is our white bear. Look at how big he is because this board that I'm using, ooh, is uh, 20 inches by 30 inches, I think, from Dollar Tree. It's the foam board. So look at how big this piece is. He is, he's got seams all over the place, right? But not anymore. So, okay, I'm gonna start bringing pieces over. I'm putting it on top just to see. And so here's the thing, normally, I account for all my pieces, okay, so there's, that foot right super cute normally I would account for all my pieces right now and I would already know that if I had any missing pieces I would have already cut them I did not do that because I've had guests in town um, and so I haven't had it I barely was able to cut this <laughs> and get it going so I don't know what's going to be missing right now we're just piecing, but you can kind of see like, see the foot, the paint bucket. I'm gonna put the lemon on top of here. So it's a squeeze, Um, it's a swirling lemon. And I'm gonna actually cut this video short in just a little bit because I'm gonna have to go open the door. <laughs> but I wanna, I'm gonna piece this together as much as possible so you can see what is going on here. I think this, oh, this goes over here so you can kind of see. So when I tape this together, you're not going to notice the seams in the black because the black covers really well. I mean, you can see like I haven't taped anything, right? But just from pushing it together, look, you can't see that seam, right? And then you're going to be distracted by the yellow lemon. And you see, look at the foot. It looks perfect. Now there's a seam right here, but I'm going to be putting a piece over that. Then there's going to be this piece up here. So you kind of see like it's starting to come together and it looks really, really good. And so, and you see what I mean about like, let's say this seam right here. I'm just gonna put a flower right on top 
and you're not going to see that seam anymore but it looks like it's part of the design so you know it's just like i said employing like everything that i know everything that is in my toolbox and see like this didn't cut all the way so i really need to change out this blade it wasn't so bad but it wasn't perfect all right where does this piece go what is this piece oh here we go <laughs> let me move this up so you, ah it's so big but you can see like it's gonna look so so good all right this piece where does this piece go i don't know oh this piece goes somewhere in here no i don't know somewhere oh maybe over here i don't know like that that doesn't make sense i'm missing something okay um, let's see see we've got little pieces all over the place so let me put down the face again here's the face here's the face here's the other oh my gosh i'm like dropping pieces there's so many pieces. This is definitely one of those things that I need to work on by myself. <laughs> okay, so here's this foot over here. I'm going to show you this foot over here. So you can kind of see it's all coming together. Such a cute, really, really cute project. Okay, here we go. I don't know where that goes. Here's, this is the face. I'm going to move it down. So I'm gonna kind of hold it so you can kind of get a preview. So see what I'm talking about? It's all like really coming together. So all the seams are getting covered up by these black pieces. Look at that, it's so big, right? I mean, look how big his paw is, it's my whole hand. So, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have lots of tips on my blog for this because I can't help you. I'm going live and you'll have all that information. So I will see you next time. I'm gonna try to break this up into pieces and really give you the content and talk about it maybe in smaller sessions. And yes, so thank you so much. Um, follow me and I will see you next time. Put all your comments, questions, uh, special requests, all of that stuff. I will see you guys next, bye.